you know, in between episodes, I've kind of come up for an idea of one of the most gruesome deaths Link could ever actually endure. So you've probably all heard the theory about how powerful it is for Link to actually use his hook shot or his claw shot or whatever it's called and how it actually lifts his body and drags him across, yeah? In this game, he's got two of them. So if he was to attack, or if he was to like grab hold of two claw shot items, I guess, two claw shotable stuff, like two vines on each end, and they were opposite to each other, and he shot them at the same time, wouldn't his body literally get ripped up into like at least two pieces? Like he would literally be ripped in half, wouldn't he? That's a quite a gruesome death that this is that's possible in this world, I guess. Although, obviously, I guess the game designers on a game designer point of view won't ever let you attack in two opposite directions. Nor will they give you a shot that goes in two opposite directions. Can you please stop? I'm shield attacking you. There you go. Ha! Ha! Ah! See, the guy who is teaching me stuff, yeah? He said that after the Hell Spitter, you could always do another move afterwards. That's how you finish teaching. But no, not you. Oh well, you left three hearts, so apparently you were a tough foe, and I guess I can kind of see that. Anyway, the way this place works is, first of all, there's another one of you, and I don't really want to deal with you. But there's a door, so goodbye. Unless you want to join me, I mean, you're welcome to, but no, okay. And Helmet Saw. Good. No, no, that's no, 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 no. Well, now that your back is turned, I will gladly. Ha! 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 No. Ha! Uh, ha! There we go. And I like how Link's hood tells you where the wind is going all the time. Although there are times where it's going in directions that don't quite make sense, but. Look at him! He looks like an elf! Like, even more like an elf. Like, Santa's elf kind of elf. Also, Christmas came by. I forgot exactly which episode Chris it airs on Christmas, but... Merry Christmas? Yeah, that's the closest thing to Christmas reference you'll get out of this game. It would have been nice if I had Christmas going while I was in Snooping Bruins, which I know is not true, but that would have been convenient. I, yeah, probably killed myself. What we want to do is come here first, in a little holy ditch bit. I would, have, I would have assumed that I mean, it makes logical sense, doesn't it? Is there something we can do outside first? I thought you had to come in here first, no? Huh? I guess so. Oh yeah, literally the vines I mentioned as I was having a discussion about Link's most gruesome death. Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I like how that guy got like really hurt with that. Anyway, you'll see, Link can't type rope. But you've done it before. You're supposed to do it as a wolf. I know, who'd have thought you'd use a wolf form in this temple? Does that I don't remember. Does that happen often? Do you often actually get to transform it out of human form as, in, as part of the temple puzzle? I don't think it is. Hmm. In fact, yeah. Why would the Uka ever need tight ropes? Can't they fly? Well, I mean, maybe not very high, but still, like, I don't know. Maybe the place was broken up, they did need to fix something. So maybe, maybe the tight rope is plausible. And there's another. I knew there was one, I just couldn't see it. You die. Thank you. And climb. And then to the side to get to the chest. Dramatic enemy music, could you please stop? There's no enemies attacking me, they're only looking at me funny. Maybe one of them's squawking at me, but you know, you just try to ignore those kind of squawkers, you know? They're just, they're a nuisance. They're all bark and no bite, or all squeak and no squabble. And a red ruby. You'll also notice, Posol. Don't forget, in fact actually, you don't even have to forget. You don't come round to it later, you go to it now. Oops, and dramatic, nearly falling to your death. I like how the type rope jumps to whichever toe you're stepping on with, or foot, not toe. Ah! I missed. Ah! Ah! Come away, come over here. Don't make me knock off, fall into the sky. Fall into the sky. Oh. You were here. Don't know why, but you were here. And chest. You got a 
purple ruby. Oh. Okay. Magic armor time. And now I have 999 because that one second there would have made me lost that last rupee, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't. I feel like it's almost impossible to actually do that correctly, where you have a thousand after getting the magic armor after getting the chest. But I don't know. Anyway, now that we've got that, ooh, ooh, ooh. can I fall there? Oh, I can. Okay, never mind then. Now that we've gone that way, let's do that all again to go the correct way into the door above. And maybe we can stop the fan from inside. So from a developer side of the story at least, I really like this temple and how it integrates all the different kinds of items you've got. You've got your bombs, you've got your iron boots, you've got turning into a wolf. Using your arrows and your claw shot and then having more claw shot. Like it's very good on actually using everything you've learned up to this point. On a context level, not a big fan of this temple, just because it just, it feels more like a temple and less like an actual thing that would actually be practically helpful. Anyway, in here, Helmosauruses, aren't they fun? I like how they stop, and I like how their children were underneath this place, well assuming they're young at least. Yeah, you can't claw shot their things, and can I seriously, like, not get around you? Let's try it this way. Huh? Yeah! And you're dead. With a nice little squawkity squeak. Is that it? Okay, fine. Well then I'll just look up here, and what do you know, that's something we don't actually want right now. We want that. Oh, there we go, he's after me. That's exactly what I wanted. Even though I don't think he has any real importance, he's just in the way. Come here, thank you, and slice. Oops, nope. <clears throat> oh, come on. Please. There we go. Get your eye boots. And walk around. It's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I'm doing it. Actually, I think it is, because I don't think there's a way to stop this. This fan. You'd think there would be, but... No, no, no. I think... Oh, I don't know. And Link's hat still very elf-like. Is that all we can do here? That's all we can do here. And you fall very conveniently down. I swear there was... There you go. I was going to say, I swear there's more you do here. There is. I just missed... Well, actually, it makes sense because on the other side. But still, iron boots. I knew you had to stop that fan down there. I just couldn't remember how. You see, that would be inconvenient, inconvenient if it stopped like that, but it doesn't. It moves a little bit out of the way, so you can actually fall down. So, they expect you to claw shot down, so you're nice and safe, right? Well, not here, but here is where you shouldn't fall down. Well, actually, I guess because they gave you this whole area, it gave you more movement to actually come down. But now, we're back to the main room. And we have the big key. Meaning we can get to the boss now, which is straight up ahead. Yes, and from that point it's literally just a tower. But we're missing a chest down here, and we're missing a chest here. So I'm going to go get those, so I will be right back. So to get the first chest that we missed, there was a gate and a switch, which I didn't see. Well, I saw the gate, but I didn't see the switch and I completely forgot about it afterwards. But either way... Now that we've opened the gate, it's on the building to the left. We come down here. Do some more face walling. It's like the the one up, the ultimate face palm, it's face wall. And then come in here, do some more face smashing against the wall. And done. Ooh. Well, if I can actually there we go. Very out of place, looks like a Prison. Oh, good. Well, I'll go put some more magic armor on then. And it's ours. Now time to get the one we missed right at the very beginning. Well, aren't I an idiot? I guess I never think things are symmetrical. I made the exact same mistake in the Arbiter's Grounds because I was too busy focusing on the one with the heart piece to focus on the one with the map. And this one, although it was just red 20 rupees, is still pretty much the same idea. 
I focus on one side and forget about the other. There we go. Now it's time to go to the main room so we can begin to fight off the boss. And here we are, back into the main room. And now, with our big key, we can hopefully progress forward. I think. There is one problem though. These things are still not moving. So, I'm hoping there's a way to activate them from here or something because otherwise I'm missing something. Again. Oh, okay. It was simple. I saw this, but I thought it was how we came down, but no. There's a s Oh no. Oh. You need to access this switch by falling from here. And because I decided to just straight away jump down, I might have just lost my opportunity to do that. Yeah. Alright, fine. I guess I'm gonna do it all over again. So, what's only been allowed about 11, maybe 12 minutes to you, has been about 33 minutes to me. Here's the switch. I went all the way around. Iron boots. And even though for me, this video's been one and a half times as long as it needs to be, we still have another 18-ish minutes to kill. So let's go kill. So now you'll see the big old fans, they're actually moving, which is exactly what we want. We can, oh, I see I was running to the wrong one first. Let's see, oh great, they're one-sided, so I have to do some waiting as well. Isn't that convenient? As if I have no, as if there isn't any more time that I need to waste today. All right, there we go. Uh, Kargorok. Oh my god, are you serious? If I've lost my... Is this game trying... <laughs> okay. <coughs> wow. This game just loves trying to make me waste my time, huh? So I can't see. There we go. Hook along, and eventually, you'll get to the other side. Uh, I had to go through, was it that? That might have been the one I went to go through again and again and again. Oh boy. And you. And turn around. Kagarok, leave me alone. Ooh. There's also a chest here, right where the fan was last time, but it's here behind this one. Ouch. This one's gonna take a little bit more time to lose, but oh well, I'll do it. I got too engulfed in watching Link's idle animation that I went a little bit under, but oh well, it's only eight rupees, and hey, let's go into the tower. Even though there's no wind, these things are turning. Oh, and now they throw too many bosses at us. I was wondering what that wind whap, wind whapping, wind flapping sound was. <coughs> you're trying to grab me, and you're out of range. Oh god, huh. that's what their attack looks like. In case you were wondering as well. Oh, the other one's aiming for me. Oh, I missed. Oh, of course I did. Okay, that guy's gonna hit first, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Heist and slicey dicer. Yeah. And aim for the other one, because he's gonna aim for it. There it is. Ha! Yeah. Ha! Oh. Ha! Ha! Okay. Now you're gonna attack next, I bet. You're flying. The other guy's walking. 
very sort it's sort of very dwarfly in the way they're moving. And Yeah, oh I missed. There we go, that one. Slasher Dasher. <laughs> and then uh, this guy's next. Uh, get out of my way. Oh great. Because the other guy was so close and I was being cautious, I now missed my chance. Okay. I guess one's gonna live a little bit longer than the other, and like quite significantly longer. Huh? Quick! Uh, oh, well, one more hit was all you needed. What a waste of my time. Thank you. It's all a waiting game, this temple, apparently. Uh. Can I just leave a bomb here for you? No? Please? Here, just have this bomb. No? Okay, fine. Do keep staying there, doing nothing. I love waiting! I love waiting! Thank you! It was only one more hit anyway. What a waste of my time. Oh, and, but you left three hearts, so that was nice. <coughs> So now, grab the big meshy mesh, turn around and... What? Okay. I guess I wasn't high enough to grab the whole thing. And then switch. What do you know? You start moving, what a surprise. Are there any chests here? No. It's from here, it's all just a path upwards. Upwards to glory. I wanna hit, land on that. Apparently I don't because it won't let me latch on. Ah! Don't make me waste my time again! Ah. Seriously, it's not letting me latch on. Let me latch on. Let me latch on. Let me latch on. It's not gonna let me latch on. Okay. 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 There's just so much waiting! Why can't I let your Oh, jeez. Why does it take so long? And why is the camera going weird now? Please stop. Please. Let me latch onto something. There we go. Thank goodness, we're making progress, but now I have to wait some more. <laughs> I don't like waiting this long, it's been so long. Why aren't you moving? I thought I hit the switch. Why did they make me have to hit a second switch? Do you know how inconvenient that is? No! Well, at least the switch is right here, that's nice. Seriously, why do I need a whole nother switch to make these things move? Why do these... Uh, I won't question the context. All I know is I'll take this door and I'll get out of here. Now we're out in the big and blue. Suddenly it's not so cloudy, it's a lot more blue. As I said, big and blue. Wait, I thought I saw a claw shot little thing there, no? I guess not. Okay. Alright, it's here. The thing that I wanted. What? Oh! That camera is very convenient because I would not have worked that out for a while. Jesus. It's kind of like Shadow of the Colossus, actually. This game has a lot of Shadow of the Colossus feel to it. Probably completely all unintentional, but still. It's a nice sunny blue day.
the Twilight Dragon, Argorok. Look at that pathetic fallacy. It's windy, dark skies. You have your claw shots, so you should go climbing. Did you know those whole pillars were climbable? You do now. Now where is he? He'll be here any minute. There he is. It seems he's got a claw shotable thing. You can even lock onto it. So, I'll take it, but that's not enough. So I'll get my iron boots. And now that he's down to my level, we smash him up. It also makes him available to... No, it doesn't make him available to hit. Never mind. But it uses his wings to flap away, so it will flap wind at you, so try not to fall off the edge as well. And actually, I think for this first phase, we don't even need to use the pillars. For now, we just need to wait and drag him down. It's not much of an armor. It's not really much of an Argorok if he doesn't have his armor. He's just a Gorok, I guess. Oh, hello! Oh! I saw that wind. It's good to stay in the center at the minute, the beginning, that way you have plenty of time to recover. And you'll know to actually. You know, you'll know you're falling off. I see you off in the distance. Don't think that I don't. I know. Are you coming for me? You're looking. You're gonna go all the way up there, are you? Don't make me chase you, because I don't want to. I, I obviously can't claw shot from here. You know what? Fine. Fine. You want me up there? I'll come get you. Oh, you're gone again. Well, that's fine. Because from up here, I can grab you and bring you down again. Now, I don't know why that's there. It seems almost technical, as if something's possessed this thing, but his weak spot is revealed. And the pathetic fallacy only gets better. Along with dark skies, we've also got rain and thunderstorms. I guess P hats did originally appear in the ground, but here they are once again. Now you're gonna want these guys, seriously. It's so ready that you're barely gonna be able to stay still. So, P hats have gone up high, I recommend you do the same. If you want to climb up high, you have to go between two pillars mainly and go forward and backwards. Look at this, look at this! This environment is just wet and cold and dark and what an amazing setting for a boss fight, right? Come on, you've got to agree with me on that. Anyway, top of the pillars, you can now reach the P-Hats. You can see, you can Z-target on these P-Hats, so feel free to hold Z, but now, he breathes fire. So you better stay away. Still breathing. That's some good lung capacity you've got there. And I think there it is. Now you can hit him in the weak spot. And stab! Oh boy! Luckily, no full damage for us. Because we flipped at the right time or something. That's how physics works, right? Actually, I guess in parkour they do flip after they do a jump, so I guess it sort of helps. Anyway, he's mad, he's right by us, so just keep flying, don't let him hit you. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh. I just want to get higher, even though I went lower that time. There we go, I'll get to the top of this one. Climb, please. There we go. Take off your iron boots, because that won't help with the pea hat situation. And here comes the fire! Ooh. Yeah, 
don't want to get touched by that. Although, I guess it would be nice to feel the warmth in this cold rain, but yeah. Seriously though, how cool is this concept? I love it. And right for the weak spot again. So high up. Seriously, if you've got a fear of heights, ugh. Thank God Link doesn't, because not only is he at the top of a massive tower at the top of a pillar where it's windy, but he's on the top of a tower. Oh no, he's at the top of a pillar, at the top of a tower, at the top of a city, in the sky. So, yeah. It would take you probably like an hour to fall and reach the ground at the bottom. Jesus. So thank goodness you don't have a fear of heights. Oh no! Somehow the fire hurt me for one heart and the, damn, the fall damage hurt me for none. That's a miracle if I ever heard one. Whoops. I knew it was the right idea the first time where I went down a bit to avoid the fire. Anyway, ah! Uh, I hear you. No! No, no! There we go. Climb to the top. And... Fly away. You can go left or right. Doesn't make a difference. He's still gonna chase you. There you go. Breathe now. No? There we go. You'd think it'd be more in his, like... It would be more beneficial, beneficial, beneficial for him to actually use his claws and just swipe for you since he's got massive talents, but no, he feels to only use his breath. He's not a smart dragon in that. Oh, he's turned around though. He is getting smarter. So you better turn around as well. Oh man, this music is so dramatic. And the rain, the wind, the fire, and he's available for a hit. Finally, finish! died before he even hit the ground. And the pathetic fallacy continues. It's good times, so it's nice and sunny. And we got the mirror shard that we technically don't need, because it was already there when we got to the mirror chamber in the first place. Daz, you did it! It's the fourth shard! Now we have them all. Hey, Daz. The words of the sages, do you remember them? Only the true ruler of the twilight can destroy the mirror of twilight. Zan could only break the mirror of twilight into shards. He couldn't shatter it. That's proof of his false kingship. Daz, we have to hurry. To the mirror chamber. After all, a fake is a fake, and no matter how much you dress it up, the real thing always wins. Well then, I'll just take my heart container, and I'll be on my way. But for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.